My name's Bill, and we are up on Bench Mountain in the little town of Newfane, Vermont. I love the peace and quiet being out here. It's a sense of freedom to be in the mountains, whether it's a alpine climb, a short hike. Um, there's that feeling where it's you in the mountain, and you need to be able to take care of yourself if you're going to be out there. I work as a uh, county forester for the State Forestry Division. I'm assigned to a half a million acre county. It typically has me out in the woods two, two and a half days a week, and Vermont is not a flat state, I should add. <laughs> Once the knee problem started in my late 20s, it was just a downhill progression from there. My whole sense of who I was was based on my level of physical activity. And for the first time in my life, I felt weak. I found it was getting harder and harder to do the field work for my job, which made me very nervous. I woke up in the middle of the night screaming in pain, and I was just covered in sweat thinking, I cannot live like this. I have to make a change. Two days later, I um, called my surgeon and made an appointment to go in and see him. When I saw him, gave me a very complete exam, but uh, I could see that the only thing that was really going to work was to go through a total knee replacement. What's carried me through in my life in very difficult situations was the desire that uh, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. The rehab was challenging for me. I was very slow, if you will, out of the starting gate, but then I progressed very rapidly. But I kept telling myself, I've got to go through some pain for some gain. Seven months roughly after the first surgery, I was standing on top of Mount Willie and had a big smile on my face. When I'm out in the woods, that's a reality that I don't get anywhere else. I literally got my life back. <laughs>